Okay guys, today I'm just gonna walk you through my uh, Dynavan Elden 7 um, head unit for my E46 M3. I'll show you the why I chose this instead of the OEM uh, navigation system that uh, came with the car. I still have that uh, navigation system which is right here. I decided to um, replace it with this uh, Dynavan M7 that's the model I think this is 2017 maybe I'm not too sure um, but anyway yes the OEM looks nice I mean only downside that I am uh, dislike about it is that it uh, doesn't have all that uh, you know, capability of doing like a Bluetooth streaming or video from uh, because I have a hotspot in my phone I can use that it's unlimited I can uh, you know use it while I'm driving or using Google Map or all this goody stuff that uh, from internet that's why I'm replacing it but uh, don't quote me wrong, um, the OEM is an excellent unit too, you know, um, but it doesn't have that uh, technology, that's the only reason. Now I will keep this as a backup in case my Dynavan on its own its last leg, something like that, then I can just swap it back to the OEM. And, uh, yeah, you know, this car fully loaded, I mean, it, it's, I think it has all this uh, CSL, uh, um, feature in this car, even O5, you know, it have all these um, gadget stuff. Um, um, I, let me show you the uh, CD navigation system in the trunk, the back of the trunk of this car. This unit, you know, um, it's a pretty fast unit too. I mean, I don't know, have a good, fast processor. Right on, it stopped right away. Um, it's also a touch screen. You know, um, we have a lot of station that I can program into it. Station at this point, and you can change the band, blah blah, blah list of it. You can do it this way, go back, and the touch screen is very sensitive. Set up a lot of kind of stuff. I like this right here, they have this Android um, link here, that thing's sweet, there's a reason I like it, you know, I can tap that into my uh, phone using the, uh, the Android link app, um, the media, the phone, there's a radio, there's a navigation system, there's a Bluetooth, Three bar right here. So this is the first bar. Let me scroll this way. You now they got this information. They got navi path. You got file. You put file in there. You put pictures, store. 
backup camera, you got OBD2, reader, system, and audio. You're gonna adjust like your equalizer, bass, loudness, and all that kind of stuff. And then we go to the last one here is AV auxiliary, and you can use an SD card iPhone or iPad you can use you can watch TV as well um, there's a hard drive right here and this disc when you play this and here's an Apple link if you have an Apple phone you can use Apple link and this is USB so you can hook up a USB you know all the good stuff that's the reason I'm I uh, switch from my uh, OEM navigation that come with the car to this because you have this uh, capability of doing all this uh, internet, um, a lot of features, Bluetooth, you know, touch screen, um, you can stream video from YouTube and use internet using Google Map, all those good stuff. That's why and uh, it responds very quickly. And you can go back to radio here, you know, and uh, this button here is like the, the this changing sweat, uh, button. You can change from your previous one. See, this is my previous. You know, you can use library. You can see all the song that I put in there. Um, this is the video that I can, you know, play video in here. I have some picture, I have a picture in here. These are all the pictures. Like a folder I want to store in a folder, which folder I want to use. Um, this one I have some information, maybe there's a video here called GoPro. Um, so click on that. Here's all the GoPro video. Back. So that. Now this uh, Android link here, this one I like so much. But I have to connect the phone to work with this uh, Android link. We have an Android phone. So I click that. It said connecting. But uh, I have to connect it. You can see the um, instruction here. So I gotta go to set the phone to uh, debugging and using USB, blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. But at this time, I did not connect it, so I'm going to exit it out. Well, that's it. And the sound system is pretty, pretty good. I mean, it worked with... I have a Harbor Garden um, system in this car. Again, remember this car is uh, like a loaded CSL uh, package or something like that. See? So, this head unit compatible with Harbor Garden system. So the sound system in here is so nice. Again, um, as you guys know, E46 M3, the sound of the engine is better than the music in here. <laughs> Just like they said, you know. All right, let me uh, exit this one. And uh, if you wanna go to Navi, I just press on here. This is a system Navi. It's loading right now. See, it's, it's pretty fast, I mean. It's, so it's fast, it's Dynavin N7, that's the model I'm, uh, I have on my car right now. So I had it for, I would say, five, six years already. Maybe a little bit more. So you have, okay, you go to destination, route option, more, and show map, just click here. And we just, you know, pop up the whole full map. Okay, so and we can zoom it in, zoom it out, pan it. It responds very quickly, you know. Zoom it. Oh, you can. They have a like a uh, plus and minus here. You zoom in, you know. You zoom out. You can, have, you can do that and you can pan it back and forth. So, I'm gonna go back in. 
there's a lot of feature in here which is uh, I have not used all the function um, I just use all the basic stuff you know the navigation system the Bluetooth um, the app I mean the Android link you know, those are just the basic stuff but in here they have a lot of features that you can uh, use it's, it's a powerful uh, unit so. Yeah guys, okay, if you like this um, demonstration uh, walk around of this uh, Dynavan M7 for the E46 um, This is work for all the E46, it doesn't matter if it's an M3 or whatever As long as an E46 head unit, it fit in the E46 head unit perfectly But I know there's a lot of uh, you know, head unit out there that you know, also are a good unit as well but I, uh, some reason I, uh, you know, get this model to not Dynavin N7. So, yep, yeah, uh, so far I like it. Hi guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and uh, consider subscribe for more content of my E46 M3 flagship. Thank you. Peace.